parenting, my friends, in today's day and age is not easy. It's a full-time job. And the thing is, most of us out there really and truly are not really made to be parents. But if you are out there and you find yourself in the role as a mom or a dad, it's definitely very, very important that you need to understand that you are in a long distant journey and your role is definitely to guide your children for their future. And to do this, my friends, we really need to impact and influence our children positively. But the question is, how do you impact and influence children in today's day and age when there's so much different things that they're interested in. We're talking about the media, the smartphones, social media, yeah? Their impact and influence are very strong. And we as parents definitely need to do a lot more to really get this curveball, catch it, and crush it like it's powder, yeah? We definitely need to guide our children in today's day and age because there's so much going on, my friends. As a father myself, I have five kids, yeah? And I definitely need to impact and influence them positively and consistently. Because only when I'm consistent, they will take what I'm saying seriously. So how do you parents out there do it? How do you go about navigating today's world with your kids? You see, in this YouTube channel, the leader, or should I say, this channel, the Parent Leader Connection, is there to really help you to navigate your role as a mom, as a dad, and a leader. Because when you're a parent, my friends, you're embarking definitely on a leadership journey. And as leaders, we definitely need to communicate and connect with our children. And when we do this, my friends, then we'll have the possibility to really impact and influence them positively. But in order to do so, we definitely need to create a space to do this. But how do we create a space for our children to really open up themselves to us and show themselves to us the way they really are? How do we create a space for them to be themselves here and also outside of our home? How do we create a space so that we can really infiltrate positive things, thoughts and ideas in their minds so that when we're not there, that they will do and act the way we would love them to do? Yeah, Not forgetting that they have their own personality and need to learn and make their own mistakes. But since you're a mom or a dad and you've also been a child, a teenager, a young adult, we definitely are the perfect guides, I would say, to really guide our children into a positive future. And this is what we all want as parents. But it's definitely not an easy job, my friends. I know this firsthand. It's a tough job. And most of us parents around here, we, we all need to be tra a, a trained psychologist because this is what you need, yeah? Our children are our biggest mirror, my friends. They show us our flaws and if we're not strong enough internally, if we're not strong enough in ourselves, then we're going to get upset. We're going to get mad because when you show people their flaws, the truth, my friends, always hurt. The truth always gives you a, a strange feeling inside your stomach. And we don't want this. We want to be that perfect human that our kids are looking up to. Yes, our children definitely need heroes, my friends. And the heroes that they're looking for should be their parents in the first instant. Because we are the ones who love our children the most and wish the most for our children, positively. No other person outside of your family, outside of your circle, have this power and influence that really is positive for their future. The power and influence of others outside of your circle is there, 
But most of the time, my friends, is negative. The media, for example, social media, television, yeah? Their friends, their foes, the people they meet on the street. It's all out there. And the social medias, the platforms, this is the biggest problem. And sooner or later, your kids are going to be there on their smartphones and just scooping up all of this information like sponge. And this is where we have to really be active. We have to be that hero for our children. But in order to be that hero, we have to first connect with them and connect with them on a deeper level. And to do this, we definitely have to create trust. Yeah, we definitely have to create trust. That means we first create a space, show our children that we love and cherish their being, yeah, their space, them as a person, as our children, and we want the best for them. And in order to create this space and to let them feel comfortable, we ourselves as parents have to show vulnerability. We have to show our kids that we're human beings with mistakes, but understanding because we have the experience and we want to be their guide. We want the best for them. So we have to really create a space so that they can say, okay, I can trust my parents. I can open myself up and we should also do the same to them. Yeah, we have to be a servant leader for our children because that is what parenting is all about. Yeah, sacrificing your well-being for your children. As for me personally, my friends, uh, being a father, that's a, a big, big thing for me. And it's like I'm developing my own self on a whole new level. Yeah, it's pers personal development training for me. Because the way I've been brought up in the past is not the way I want to bring my children up. And these things I've learned in the past isn't always good. And they sit in the deeper conscious mind or the deeper unconscious mind of my being. And certain triggers that my kids do pull them out of the dark. And then I have to be strong enough to really overcome these triggers so I don't get angry or don't say something that's going to give them the wrong impression. Yeah. So I have to work on myself on a daily basis with them and without them. And that's why I said in the beginning that we as parents definitely should have a psychological um, degree or whatever to really raise children because it's definitely a full-time job and it's not easy, especially when you're a parent that is really stressed out from your job or some other problems that you're facing. And if I should give any people man or woman want to be a parent out there, I would let them know from the get-go, work on yourself personally. Get your crap in order before you decide to father or mother a child. Because when stress is there, it's going to affect the way you bring up your children in this world. When you have worries and troubles and problems, I'm not saying it's not going to be there in some other form or the other, but if you learn to work with them, then it's a whole different story. But if you haven't done anything, personal development to really control yourself and be disciplined, lead yourself, and this is why we come to the term leadership once again. If you're not able to lead yourself first, how are you going to be able to lead somebody else, especially your kids? This is why in this world, my friends, leadership and communication is so important. Yeah, and as a parent, your job is definitely need to lead your children. Your job is definitely to lead your children on the right path so that they can live a happy, healthy, and successful life. But in order to do this, in order to create this impact and influence on them, you have to work on yourself. It starts with you, with me as a parent first. And I understand this and I hope you do as well. Because when you do, 
you'll take the necessary actions to get this done. And it is a long distance journey and you have to be consistent. It doesn't mean that you won't make mistakes, you will. I've made loads of mistakes, my friends, yeah? But the important thing is to admit to your mistakes, apologize, and make amends and move forward, yeah? The same way you talk to your children when you're upset, you should give the love 10 times more. Because people always say, if you talk to your children in a negative form, it takes like 10 or 20 more good things to make this negative aspect even shift. I won't even say go away, I mean shift. So we have to work on ourselves and work on ourselves consistently and create this connection with our children. And I can give you a tip that surely helps. I told you guys about creating a space for them to really trust you so that they can open up and connect with you on a deeper level. Storytelling, my friends, is also a very good strategy that you should definitely implement in your parenting because crafting a message that you want to give to your children, it's very important that you pack it in a story because if you pack it in a story, the first thing is they will listen. Second, it sticks and it sticks longer. Yeah, so it's very important to use the emotion that this God-given emotion that we have in us and really create a story, craft our message and pack it sweetly. Entertainment should be on this story as well. And dramatagory, yeah, is that the right word? <laughs> Dramatize a little bit when you tell your story because it definitely helps my friend. This I've said in the past in a few videos, and I can say it again. If you dramatize in your storytelling when you're placing a message to your children, it works brilliantly. Yeah, This is why Hollywood is so successful. This is why radio television is also so successful, and social media in today's day and age, with the reels and the stories and whatever. Yeah, It's all about storytelling. Placing your message in a story works perfectly. I hope this video, my friends, really shed some light on what we are doing in this channel and what I want to do with this channel to support your cause in your parenting. As a parent, I want to give my experience and um, things that I have learned over the years as a father of five that can really help you guys to make your parenting journey a lot easier. So if you want tips and tricks about how you can do this or that in parenting and how you can go about it. Check out the videos here on this channel. Watch the videos, ask questions, create a community. Let's create a community around this information because there's so much communities out there talking about these things on this channel that we need to come together and really make the community even bigger and more interesting and easier, for example, to find this information. Because where the world is running right now, my friends, we definitely need a community that moves together, grow together, and push together so that we can create the children of the future. Yeah? Whitney Houston said it brilliantly. She believes that children are the future, and I do as well. And we should teach them well and let them lead the way. We should definitely show them all the beauty they possess inside my friends you should let them have this feeling of sense of pride because this surely will make it easier especially with laughter yeah we always say sometimes humor is the best medicine it works and let the children's laughter remind us as parents how we used to be so on this note if this channel in any form or the other has brought you any value or any joy, then subscribe and please share all this information that's here on this channel. Tell your friends and family about it. Tell moms and dads who are having aches and pains yeah, about raising children and also to people who 
or planning to start a family. I think it's very important. I think we definitely we definitely need to 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 get active in doing all of this. And remember, it all starts with you.